YouTube this is another video just to show you guys a few things about the SSHing and how you can get a couple of errors sometimes and I was gonna give you guys a few tips and you know help you out because I know a few people was wanting to change their password so let's first thing we're gonna need is to launch Cydia and make sure if you're on an iPhone or iPad or iPod that you install open SSH and if you if you're trying to change your password or something like that or trying to SSH your Apple TV and you're getting errors just sit tight and we're gonna take care of that in just a second uh, first thing you want to do is just go into manage, uh, go in a search for Open SSH, and once you install that, you see I already have it installed. Once you have it installed, you should uh, you should be able to SSH your device. Just open terminal. And once you have terminal open, uh, you guys can see the the list. All right, the first thing you want to do is you guys can follow along. The numbers got a little messed up, but okay. Once you open your terminal, you just type ssh space root at and then your IP address, which is right here you go to your settings of your phone or whichever device you're trying to SSH into on your Apple TV you would go to settings and then about and then it would be right there under IP address on your iPhone or iPad or iPod it's all the same you just go to the little extra area and then right there is your IP address So you type it after you type SSH in terminal after you type SSH root at root space and then at symbol and after you hit enter it'll ask you for the password and your password will be Alpine A L P I N E until you change it. Now, when you want to change your password, you simply t once you've gained root access, it'll say right there root number sign, and then it'll be ready for your next command. And if you want to change your password, which is a very good idea, I recommend you do. You type P A S S W D and hit enter, and then new password. It asks you. You type it. It doesn't show it on the screen, but just type it, and then it'll ask for to retype it. You do it again and then you're good to go so you've changed your password now again back to the error if you get this error remote host identification has changed you need to fix that and how you do that is I'll close this terminal and I'll open a new one you just go to terminal and then you type open space dot ssh and hit enter and see it'll open up this file right here known host directory you need to drag that and drop it in your trash can and delete it and then empty your trash and reopen close this and reopen terminal and then you should be able to connect to your device with no problem the first time your your default password will be alpine once again and um, okay we'll move on so the next thing basically after you after you've done that you should if you have to do it on Apple TV you don't have to add anything any other programs any open SSH you don't have to you don't have to install that to the Apple TV so just if you have any other problems just send me a message and I'll be glad to help thanks